Welcome to Electron Line. Before we get into the thermodynamic potentials, we should have a good understanding of the first law of thermodynamics. And remember, there were two definitions. We had it written as delta U, which is a change in internal energy, is equal to Q minus W, and we had it written as delta U equals Q plus W. So what is the difference? Why do we have two definitions? Well, they're both valid and we need to understand the differences. The first definition reads as follows. The change in the internal energy of a gas, or we could say of a system, is equal to the heat added to the gas minus the work done by the gas. And notice the word by is boxed in in red because that's an important word. And here we have a schematic of that on a PV diagram, pressure versus volume diagram. If at constant pressure, an isobaric process, we change the volume of the gas from a smaller volume to a larger volume, then the gas does work by expanding. The gas pushes against the atmosphere, it does work, that requires energy to be pulled out of the gas, which therefore reduces the internal energy of the gas. And of course, if we add heat to the gas, it increases the internal energy of the gas. So it's increased by heat added and decreased by the amount of work done by the gas. But if you write the first law of thermodynamics as follows, delta equals Q plus W, then the definition reads as follows. The change in internal energy of a gas or of a system is equal to the heat added to the gas plus the work done on the gas. So when the atmosphere does work on the gas and compresses the gas, compresses it from a higher volume to a lower volume, then work is done on the gas which causes heat to be added to the gas or it causes the internal energy of the gas to increase. So when we work on the gas by compressing it, the internal energy goes up. When we allow the gas to do work, the internal energy goes down. And so essentially, this then represents the area underneath the curve represents negative work. And therefore, if we put a negative W inside here, negative times negative becomes positive. And that's what we mean by the difference between the two definitions. When we use minus W, we define it as work done by the gas, plus W is work done on the gas, but essentially it's the very same first law of thermodynamics, but it is a cause of a lot of confusion, so we want to make sure we have that clear, so when we start defining the other thermodynamic potentials, then we understand when we're dealing with work done by the gas and work done on the gas because it does make a difference. So this is a good start and we'll continue defining what the various thermodynamic potentials are and how to use them. That's how it's done.